Hey guys, it's James to go to Way here. Back at again with another video. I know I haven't made a video in about three months, but I'm back at it again. So, as y'all know, I look different. I know. <laughs> I got a haircut uh, two months ago because I fucked up my hair, like really bad, like really bad. But anyway, I think it's a good start. Um, but anyway, this video is going to be the worst parts of being trans. And being trans is good, you know, being trans is like my life, like I can't change it, you know, I can't, can't do anything about it. But the worst parts of being trans, you know, kind of hit you really hard at times and it gets to you. So let me just tell you about it because most of y'all either watching my videos aren't trans or are trans, so, or in the LGBT community, so y'all can relate, not relate, understand, not understand, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> here we go. So the words, the first part of being trans that's not as great is going to the bathroom in public. You know, growing up, I was obviously identified as a girl, have girl's anatomy. So growing up as a girl, it's kind of like everything is so like, you know, sit on the toilet and, you know, you know, do your thing and, you know, and then get out of the stall and blah, blah, blah. Everything's so secure. But once you turn, become a guy, well, not once you become a guy, like once you figure out that you are a guy, you know, like you're trans, whatever, um, it's kind of difficult because you have to learn the process and you weren't taught how to do the process, you know, like when you're younger, when boys are younger, they you know, go into the bathroom with their dad, they teach them how to like, you know, pee, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But when you're trans, you know, you don't really grow up like that. Or you do, depending on how young you are when you come out as trans, you know? But anyway, so for me, it's kind of difficult because, you know, I don't have a dad in my life. So it kind of just is not, you know, it's never been there for me. So um, what I do when I go into the bathroom, it's kind of weird. But, you know, I can't really do much, you know, because, you know, you go into the guy's bathroom and usually there's urinals, like, on the side here or, like, in front of you, you know what I mean? And guys just go in and, you know, pee. Whatever, blah, blah. And I know it's just kind of sounding like nasty or gross, but this is like a struggle for most trans guys um, because, you know, you're exposed and you're really not used to being exposed. Like you're not used to people like just like going up to the thing and like peeing in front of you. Like, you know, even though you don't watch them, like you shouldn't watch them. But, you know, um, it's just different, you know, being exposed. So that, I feel like that's the worst part. One of the worst parts about being trans is because you have to get used to just like not giving a fuck. Basically, like you just have to go and blah blah blah. But also, it's struggle because you don't have you don't have a penis yet. You know, like you're just like it's either you because bottom surgery is a lot of money, and most trans guys do not have that kind of money. So it's kind of hard for us because uh, we have to figure out how to get the money and blah blah blah. And sometimes like complications and everything and that we don't want to take and blah blah blah. And that's a struggle too because all we want is to just be like one of the guys, like. We are guys, but we just want to be like one of them, you know what I mean? And it's struggle because we have to, you know, do things differently and we can't, you know, we, we get jealous most of the time because we can't look like that or we can't have one of them, or, you know? It's just, it's really complicated. So that's a struggle. But the benefit is that you can get an STP and, you know, still pee like a guy, which is so, like, I'm so great for that. Um, I'll list some of the companies that sell STPs and packers down below. But anyway, that's one of the worst parts about being trans. The second part that really messes me up is my chest. I hate my chest so much. And people are like, you look good, blah, blah, blah. But that's not good enough for me, you know what I mean? And I know that sounds like, you know, selfish and shitty or whatever. But, but for me, like, anybody can tell me, you know, I look good, I look good. But it's still not going to, it's not going to cover up the fact that I still have really bad dysphoria about my chest. Like, sometimes I just want to take my shirt off and just go, like... It's so hot and I just want to go around and just like walk without a shirt on, but I can't because I have to wear a binder because, you know, I have a underneath. So it just, that's one of the worst parts, especially when it's boiling hot and you have to wear a binder plus a shirt. Like it just, it sucks. It really sucks. But the, that's the second thing that's bad about not being trans, but worst thing that's like the struggle of being trans. That's what I'm trying to get. The third part that's a struggle about being trans is the comments. So recently I got um, hated on by some people 
and it really brought me down because basically they were saying how oh, I'm not a guy, blah, 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 and just saying it, it over and over again, saying that I'm a dyke with dreams, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is that you get a lot of hate for being trans, you know, and, you know, everybody's going to hate, but it's just the amount of hate that we get in this, this realm of even the LGBT community doesn't think that transgender is supposed to be in the LGBT community because we're basically not gay, you know, that's what they think. But it's just a struggle because we can't fit it anywhere, I feel, sometimes. And it just really gets me angry because, you know, we, we get so much hate for being just who we are as people. And um, it's just ridiculous, I kind of feel. Like it's just ridiculous. And we have to deal with that on a daily basis. And when we wake up in the morning, we have to deal with it on a daily basis. Like, looking at ourselves and not being happy with ourselves, knowing we're in the wrong body, you know. And that's what really sucks about being trans is because we have to realize that on a daily basis. And we can't change anything about ourselves unless it's like the way we dress our hair the way we talk um and even that is so hard for most trans guys or if they're not on t to talk like a regular guy because some some when you go through puberty your voice gets high or you know it's monotone i'm glad that my voice is very monotone and it's not like high at all so i'm really glad about that but not every trans guy is fortunate to have that so that's the third reason why being transgender kind of sucks sometimes um another thing that really sucks i think is just my height my height like i know that sounds weird but like if you think about it if you think about it right like most guys are either five eight to six foot like that's the that's the height nowadays or they're like either like they're big you know what i mean like they're just you know, they're just guys, you know what I mean? On testosterone, you know? <laughs> so, for me, I'm around 5'6", the most. Like, 5'6", that's it. And that's a normal height, you know? Until you stand next to them. You know what I mean? It's like, you're never tall enough when you're trans, I feel. You know, it's either you're, you're, you're you know, a lot of trans guys are small because they were born, you know, a female at birth. And it sucks because we don't, you know, we, we stop growing at a certain age, you know, and then it's over, you know, it's over, you know. But for me, I'm fortunate to not be that short, but I'm still short, you know what I mean? And it just aggravates me because I'm really long. Like, I have long body, long arms, like, you know, like, I'm pretty long. Like, it sounds weird, but I am. But my height just aggravates me because I'm still short, if that makes sense, you know. And it just aggravates me because most guys are really tall and I'm short and I'm just looking like, yep, yeah. And I'm also really skinny. Like, I have muscles, whatever. Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty, I have broad shoulders, you know. Not as broad as most, but I still have broad shoulders for being trans. But it's just the fact of the matter that I'm still not, like, bulky. Like, I'm, I'm a twig, bro. So, that's the fourth reason why it sucks to be trans. At times, you have a lot of dysphoria about little things. Um... And another, the fifth reason why it sucks to be trans is your voice. So I know mo like my voice is pretty deep for a trans guy. But for most guys that are not on T yet and are pre-T like me, um, you know, I could sound masculine at times. But then at times I'll laugh or I'll yell or something and I'll st I will literally listen to myself and I'll sound like a full girl. And it just aggravates me because I know I'm not a girl, but I can't control that, you know, you know, and it just aggravates me. So my voice kind of gets in the way of me being happy in life, but it's whatever, you know, you have to deal with it and you can't talk about it as much because people won't understand. They'll just be thinking like you're crazy, like unless you people can relate to you like other trans guys. But that is the fifth reason why being trans is the worst sometimes because like I can't control how I laugh sometimes. I can't control how I scream sometimes. It just happens. So that sucks for me. But I think, I feel like the reason why I made this video is because I feel like people relate to this video. A lot of trans guys relate to this video because it is true. We do have a lot of setbacks that make us very dysphoric in life. And um, it just really sucks. At the end of the day, it like, really sucks. And like, I'm not saying this because, you know, like, I hate my body. I hate the way I look, which eh, sometimes I do. 
but it's just the fact of the matter. Like, I'm trying to get at at this as, as a reasonable sense. Is we can't control who we are. At the end of the day, like we wish we were somebody else, but we can't be anybody else. We're just us, and I hate that people hate on us because of the way we are when we can't control it. You know what I mean? And it's so it's so funny how we wish that we were we could be them just for for a day. You know, and it's it's sad, but we have to live with it. And we basically have to buy everything we want to have when we shouldn't really have to buy it, but we have to because we don't have it. You know, like our chest, <laughs> like our chest flattened or having a penis, whatever. It just it sucks. But anyway, I have good news. I have 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 have, have good news. Okay, so recently, um, uh, I got out of school like a week ago. So I'm gonna be in 11th grade, blah, blah, blah. But my mom, like two, three, four days ago, called the trans clinic. So um, I might be getting on T soon. So I'm very, 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 very happy. I've been almost 10 months that I've been openly trans, but um, I'm so happy because I literally like dream about it every day. Like, what my voice is gonna sound like, what I'm gonna look like, like how much hair I'm gonna grow, like just everything. And like, I want to shout out to give a shout out to my friend Shane because he, I think he's like on two months, three months on testosterone. So congratulations, bro. But I can't wait to get on tea. Like I'm just, it's like it's time. I feel like it's just time. Like he's been actually like waiting for a longer time than I have, but I know people that are already on T that haven't been, you know, blah, blah. so I, I really am excited to get on testosterone and just see the changes and I'll bring you through the journey once I get on testosterone. But I'm very, very happy that my mom called and we're arranging a meeting soon. So when I when I get the information and I get everything set up, uh, I'll let you know, but yeah. Also, um, for all my trans guys, I was talking about our chest. Um, for anybody who can't get a binder or is swimming with a binder on, there's another method that you can use. Um, KT tape or trans tape. KT tape is a little bit cheaper and you could get it outside of um, the store. You could, get it, you could get it at the store. Trans tape you cannot get in the store. Um, you have to buy it online and trans tape is a little bit more expensive. If you want to get KT tape, you can go to Walmart, Rite Aid, any any place like that. Um, usually Walmart sells it in the sporting goods section. It's for um, pulling muscles, blah, 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 which is, that's why they don't really prefer KT tape. But if, you just, if you're just using it for swimming, you can use it for a few hours and it won't really hurt. But just be careful when you take the KT tape off because it can rip your skin. But just, uh, they tell you to like, just take a shower and put it under hot water and just like rip it off your skin as slowly as possible. Do not do it fast, you'll rip your skin off. Um, but those are two methods you can use for the summer if you want to either swim without a shirt on or um, just, you know, not have a binder on all the time because these binders are aggravating. Like literally, they're so restrictive and aggravating and it's hard to breathe sometimes, but you know, it works. If you get the GC2B underworks, but I, I really recommend GC2B Never use the Underworks binder, so I can't give you a review on it. But that's what I might do. I might buy a new binder and just do a review review on it or a giveaway. So without any anything, you know, anything else, I'll see you later. Literally, I haven't made a video in so long, and I really forgot how to, like, do everything. Like, I forgot how to come in and come out, like, you know. But anyway. It's James Cody right here, and I hope you enjoy your summer. I hope y'all have a good summer. I hope y'all stay safe, and I'll keep you posted. Peace.